Okay, quick fire bit. I have done a few videos and they've been like half an hour long. This one, I'm going for like just a few minutes. I'm going to see how many sling variations I can come up with for setting up a belay off my two pre-placed anchors here. Um, they've all got to be safe, obviously. They've all got to be equalised. They've got to be independent and they've got to create a bit of an angle. They're my bullet points, some better than others, a few different methods, go. Right, first one, uh, clip it in, get that join out of the way, you can see I'm already on the slow-mo here. Uh, next one, I'm gonna do these up straight away, because I kinda have to, I'm not sure if I will for the rest of the video, because it'll be a right faff. Uh, angle, not independent, they are equalized, to make them independent are not there. Just uh, an overhand, because I'm being quick and there's no point doing anything else. If you're worried about it getting tightened up because you're doing some rigging stuff, loads of people coming along, then put just a snap gate through uh, some of those strands. Hang on, this is slowing me down. Rubbish, there we go. Uh, load it, be lay off it, direct in there, whatever you want to do, great. Uh, at the end of the session, you can wiggle, 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 and it comes undone. Uh, that's one pretty standard stuff. Angle's okay, but sometimes you might want to do a slightly different method, uh, which is probably my go-to one. Uh, measure it out roughly, do an overhand, leave it loose, clip them in, do them up. I'm still being behaving there. Uh, and then you can adjust this overhand left or right a bit, because it's overhand, if it was a figure of eight, it'd be a right faff to do. Overhand's good. Uh, whatever you're going to clip in, probably going to be a screw get in it, not a snapper. Clip to one side, then the other side. Yeah, ticks the same boxes, still independent because of that knot, okay? If I didn't do the knot, it would not be independent. Next one, uh, I'm gonna go for some flow pitches. Uh, so get rid of that, start back from the beginning up to here, and I'm gonna put a flow pitch in this one, nice one-handed one there, because they're quick and easy. Uh, right, next one, gonna bring that over to here. Uh, let's go for a two-handed one there. Fold that in, do him up, great. Went in just about loose, okay? I don't want them to affect each other because then they wouldn't be properly independent. Can't clip into there because you get some uh, bad stuff happening if one of them exploded, so I've got to do a knot, just an overhand. Why well, might I do another knot? Well, it's a super skinny six mil sling, so I might do a figure of eight, a figure of nine. I could even do a clovitch. These are really nice, especially in winter when you've got gloves on and uh, you know can hardly feel your fingers. Clip something into that. This works really well. Uh, and then when it, you've finished uh, and you're stripping it, you can just sort of slide that out, done, good. Sometimes wins you a bit of better angle and can extend it down a bit. You can see it's a little bit longer, that one, so that can be really nice sometimes. Um, what else can we do? Just with two anchors, obviously, we've got here. I can start to do something that you'll see in some books or on YouTube uh, that might be good for bolts, not so much with drag gear. You can get out of the way, clip them in there. Uh, if I just clip into that and one explodes, then it's gonna just slide off the end, isn't it? So that's no good. If I put a cross in that one, I can clip into that, okay? Equalizing itself, that's good. Still got an angle. Are they independent? No, not properly. If this one was to explode, I'll just simulate that, then this will extend itself, do bang, like that. Uh, so it's, we're, you know, shock loading. We don't like shock loading. Um, if it's on bolts, would I ever do it? Yes, I do do it sometimes on bolts. You've just got to be, right? They've just got to be unquestionably good, really. Have I ever done it on trad? Um, not really that I can remember, maybe, but I don't think so. There is a slight evolution of that, where you tie limiter knots, Overhand, overhand, uh, I might have to see if I've got them in the right place. Okay, yeah, not bad. Still do your little cross, get that in, clip. Then if one does explode, that's only gonna slide that far. Okay, so that can be quite nice. Again, I'm only gonna do it really on bolts, or if we're getting really like uh, into it, maybe to equalize two bits of gear on, on a pitch, I might do it without the limiter knots, just the little sliding X method is what it's called because um, it's hard to do if you're, you know, other things are hard to do, equalizing knots and stuff, if you're like holding on with one hand and stuff. Uh, I'm struggling to think of any other sling setups that I can do that would be safe. I'm sure there is something um, with that sling, but that'll do for now. If you found any others, you've got other, others in your head that you like that I haven't mentioned, 
you fire them on in the comments underneath. Uh, quick fire sling setup. Ooh, how many minutes is that? Five minutes winning. See you later.